What is it today, guys? Mad Matt in this video. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the SAC 3s, guys. This is the weapon I am, these weapons that I am running in my hand right now, the dual wield weapons or the Kimber, whatever you want to call them. Um, I actually did pick them up this morning. So I was running around and I found them. Uh, I actually equipped them on my class first. Um, and then I was like, I started using them and they, they were really good. So I wanted to bring this video to you guys and show you um, the SAC 3s if none of you guys have used them before, because literally, this was one of my first times using these weapons. And um, I'm so happy that I did find them and use and started using them because they're so much fun, guys. Um, I don't really normally use jeweled weapons. I don't think you guys have ever seen me use jeweled weapons on anything unless it's been like a gun game and it's been a jeweled pistol or something like that. I don't really normally use them because they're so inaccurate. Um, you go through ammo too quick. Uh, they just and from longer distances, they just don't reach when you normally have jeweled. But the difference is with these sack threes, guys. Um, the distance is pretty good, like, obviously it's obviously not going to be as far as obviously a normal gun, so to speak, but the distance for a dual wood gun on the, is pretty sick, it's pretty good. Um, also the damage on these is really high, obviously you got two guns firing at the same time, so obviously the damage, um, the more bullets going down range obviously because it's two guns, but it kills very quick, um, in my opinion. And they're just a whole lot of fun. If you want to change it up a little bit, guys, instead of using your normal setups, which you, like your normal AK-12s, BALs, IMRs, ARXs, and all that kind of stuff, I recommend for a bit of fun, running around the maps, um, but not all maps, I'll go into that in a bit, running around the maps and using SAC 3s. Even though I'm not running this stock variant here, I'm actually running a variant of the weapon. Um, the stock is pretty much the exact same, so don't worry about that. But the maps that you will run, obviously, you guys probably know, but you run it on a small to medium map, because you'll see me here, Getting some long, longer range kills, so to speak. Um, you see, I don't go for stupid, stupidly long kills all the time. But I did try once, like in this game, you saw it. And I actually didn't get the kill because the guy was so far away. So, you have to limit yourself. When you start playing and you start using the SAC 3s, you actually find out for yourself how far you can reach with these guns. Because I can't really tell you because some people might uh, reach further than others. But somewhere there, I fired that guy and I didn't hit him at all. And this guy ran a bit close and I hit that guy. So it's kind of a mix and match. You're going to find out what you like um, and how you're going to work the best with these weapons. But trust me, guys, if you haven't used them, try them out. Let me know what you think of them. If you have used them, again, let me know what you thought of these weapons. But that's all I want to bring you today, guys. Just update you guys a little bit of the SAC 3s that I found in Advanced Warfare and how I found them. So thank you for watching this video today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Here's another two videos on screen. If you haven't seen them yet, I do my latest new Ascendance DLC video where I cover all the new DLC coming to Advanced Warfare on the 31st of March. And also my latest A4 vs. Ohm in-depth comparison video as well. So if you haven't seen any of those two videos, guys, check those out. It has been Mad Matt. I'll catch you guys in my next video.